Kevin. I love you because you are the walking definition of kindness. You are my daily reminder to be less blada, and I love you because you make me excited of the future. You know that unknown and not knowing what the future holds is very, very scary for me. But you make me dream, and it, it calms me to know that whatever version of future I will have it holding your hand. My sister, you've always been my biggest supporter, who has never judged me or doubted me in everything I do. My mentor whenever I needed a teacher or advice, and the best sister I could ever ask for. Seeing you happy and in love fills my heart with joy. You deserve all the happiness in the world, and I know you found it with Kevin. Tukuyo Kevin, take your time to memorize her, her fears, her hopes, her dreams and her craziness, because everything will be all right if you keep her next to you. As T. Swift sang, isn't it just so pretty to think all there was, some invisible strings tying you to her. My dearest Faye, I can clearly remember the day I wanted to tell you that I like you. I thought of just keeping it to myself and not say anything because of some reasons. I paused and then I saw a quote on the wall that says, What would life be if we had no courage to attempt on anything? I'm happy I was courageous to make that attempt. I decided to express how I feel. That's the best decision I made in my life. Ever since that day, we've been creating wonderful memories together. You were always there when I needed the most, despite our busy schedules at the time. You have also encouraged me to always believe in myself and never give up on my hopes and dreams. Those same sentiments are also evident as I see you and Kevin together. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, it is my greatest honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Diniega. bonded a lot over crushes, even had the same one at one point. <laughs> but I thought it's really crazy how this was our topic of conversation for years and years, going through the ups and downs of relationships, and I'm standing here today speaking on her wedding day. You found him, Ate, the man of your life that we once gushed over back in the day, not having any idea who it was going to be. As you start this new chapter in your life, we may be physically apart yet again, only this time, and I know I can speak for the rest of the group, that we would fly back to Minnesota assured that you finally found someone you can be with, yourself with, someone to share your happy life here in Texas or elsewhere. So Kevin, you may be marrying into the Aguila family, but the same applies to our group, so you can't get rid of us easily. We just want you to know how much we love you and we are so excited for the next step in your life um, for you and Kevin. Um, he is now one by our side and your side and um, while we are miles away from you.
Kevin. <laughs> um, please take care of our Andrea. She is very important to us. And may your marriage be filled with as much love, laughter, and joy as our friendship was. <laughs>